Next up, we have uh, Dr. Tyson Rupp now from the Louisiana DOTD to present about e-construction inspection. Hi there. Uh, my name is Tyson Rupp now. I'm the Associate Director for Research here at the Louisiana Transportation Research Center. And uh, I'm happy to uh, present on one of our uh, widely successful construction or inspection projects and research projects that we did. I need to acknowledge my uh, co-PI, Dr. Mary Leah Coco. Um, she works on the technology transfer training and education side of LTRC, um, as well as our uh, industry partners with Headlight, uh, Sai Katara, uh, George White, Julian Yamira. Those are the folks that uh, uh, helped us out with that. So with that, let's go on to the next slide. So the problem that we look to address is that with construction inspection, if you look at the, the figures on the right, um, that would be a typical, uh, you know, the top figures, we have several field books for several different projects that one of our inspectors would be on. Um, that stack of material that's stuck to the dolly there, that is everything that was in this inspector's pickup truck. Uh, from sets of plans to, uh, you can see two different spec books there, you can see the field books, all the supplemental uh, specifications and special provisions, as well as totes for other paperwork as well. And all of this paper-based uh, work is extremely time-consuming. Um, it's extremely important that we document it, but it's very paper-heavy. And then you would get into this, how adequately does this document the process? And so, you know, with uh, everyday counts initiatives for e-construction and stuff, we looked at it and we said, well, we believe it can be more timely. We can believe it can provide better documentation of the construction process. Um, and so we, we moved into that. So let's go ahead and go to the next slide. So what did we do to solve it? We evaluated a program called Headlight. Um, we used it on 50 plus projects in a statewide, um, you know, uh, pilot project type deployment, um, looking at both complexity in different sizes. Uh, approximately 180 different people uh, in the field and the laboratory or field and the uh, office use this uh, web-based or the iPad-based thing. Um, and you can see some of the different types of observations we have. So, you know, if you look at the, the first figure there on the right with the pipe and the box cover, we extended and widened the radius for this project. And so, we were able to use pic collage and show the exact location, all of these pictures and videos that are attached in this field book program from Headlight are geolocated, both latitude and longitude, as well as elevation, their time and date stamped. Um, so you can see that and all that now with that picture is part of that construction documentation, whereas before those pictures would go reside on somebody's, uh, you know, uh, hardware or, or computer or some type of shared drive in an office and sometimes depending on how well they were labeled it would be difficult to go find some of that construction documentation in the future. Um, if you look at the bottom right corner you can see here they, the, the contractors installing uh, reinforcing steel for a, a retaining wall. It was annotated, it was shown and shown that there was improper spacing, it was put in as an observation. So the date that it was recorded as improper spacing. And then we have another observation later on, several days later that come in and show that this improper spacing has been corrected. And that gives you a timeline that's definitive with picture evidence showing that the, the time it took the contractor from the time they were notified of the deficiency to the time they completed the, re, the, the actions to rectify that deficiency. And the, the picture on the bottom center, um, we added a materials module because we said, if we're gonna do e-construction inspection, we also need to do e-construction testing and material sampling. And so with the material sampling side, we added a materials module. Our people can create samples in the field and they use a wireless printer that you can see there and it prints a QR code. And then those things in order to maintain chain of custody, that sample is scanned in with the iPad when the sample is created, whether it be, in this case, a, an aggregate sample or a set of cylinders or an asphalt core or something like that. It's scanned when it's taken, giving it a time and date and latitude and longitude. 
then when those samples hit our respective district materials labs, they're scanned in there. So there's a time and date stamp when it was received by the lab. Then when they test it, they scan it again, and then we can get a testing time, and then the results are put back in, and then the results are then pushed electronically out to the field for a much more um, you know, rapid response on, on results. Next slide, please. So what did this do? Well, this, you know, the materials module, we were able to create, track, and manage within Headlight. It's very similar to the same technology used by UPS or Amazon, something like that. The observed values we see, we see improved coordination and decision making. We see documentation of deficiencies and corrections. Uh, what this does is it standardizes our process across the state. So, you know, nobody in any other states, I'm sure, have contracts as they say, well, those folks over in that district, let me do it, but you know, you're not gonna let me do it. So we, we standardize and we're gonna hopefully eliminate some of that. We retain data for training purposes and big data analytics. Um, you know, training purposes, you know, turnover is a big deal here. A lot of people retiring and whatnot. So we can actually take the videos and the inspection photos and show new people and bring them up to speed a lot faster on this is the proper way to install a pipe or this is what a, a, a sidewalk placement should look like. And then with big data analytics, we can look at and say, where's all of our change orders coming from? Or is it, is this, and then is the change order, is it you know, a specific bid item or is it a specific design item? Are we doing something wrong in design or bidding purposes that we can correct to try to correct some of these change orders? So in conclusions, you know, we saw massive increases in productivity because our people were able to stay on the project an additional hour to an hour and a half versus traveling back to the office and inputting all of this in um, our computer systems and stuff like that. Um, and all of that, when we look at deploying this statewide, we're gonna save about 117,000 person hours per year, um, which is equivalent to roughly 48 full-time positions. Um, improved daily working report or DWR timeliness. This is you know, the time spent importing DWRs. All of this is automatic at the end of the day. The inspector hits create DWR and it automatically takes all this information pushes it into site manager and away we go. And so they don't have to sit and spend time to do it or delay that time. And then there's also increased accountability, searchability and communication. Uh, accountability from, you know, between the, the DOT employees and the contractor. Um, you know, the contractor says we agreed on this and the DOT employee says, well, no, we didn't or yes, we did. Um, there's accountability between DOT people as well. You know, when when a project engineer says to inspector, this is what we're gonna do, they can now record that in there. Um, all of this data is, um, you know, inspection wise, we can, we can keep it, we, we own it forever and ever. And communication is great. We were able to see a trench safety violation from an engineer at headquarters. They were able to pick up the phone within 15 minutes of that occurring, call the project engineer in Shreveport and say, hey, you know, you need to go fix this. It's, it's instantaneous. So um, other things we've done, we've, we've had issues with poor quality concrete on a bridge deck and um, between a meeting with the ready mix producer and the contractor, um, that whole entire bridge deck, it was a small one, three slab span, you know, bridge was replaced at zero cost with no claim to the department because we were able to prove that we tested everything properly and the contractor put everything in properly and the ready mix producer finally admitted that they had sent the wrong concrete to the job. So with that, we can go to the next slide. I wanna thank you. If you need anything um, regarding this, don't hesitate to reach out to uh, myself or Mary Leah. You can see a copy of the final report with that link and the technical summary, which is just a two page um, brief on that as well. Um, with that, I thank you all for your attention and um, I turn it back over to you, Cindy. Thank you, Tyson. That was very interesting.